Hey guys, it's your makeup artist friend Cat Sketch here. Today we're gonna do a makeup of a creature with ears, maybe a cat. And of course, I have a top on, even though it looks like I don't. We're doing a makeup of this amazing Cave of Wonders Aladdin inspiration Disney makeup look today with the genie and the lamp. Since there's gonna be a new Aladdin movie coming out, I'm so excited. And can we just talk about this movie that's gonna come out? I just saw the trailer and some of the pictures and magazines of the cast members. And why does Aladdin look like one of my high school history teachers? I don't know. I'm skeptical about it, but I'm super excited as well because Aladdin's one of my top three all-time favorite Disney movies. So in case this movie doesn't come out good, we have this to look back on, a tribute to the original Aladdin. So let's get started. You guys know me, I need to delete them eyebrows. I am using some glue stick and powder, doing about four layers of glue and powder for my specific face and the thickness of my brow hairs. Depending on how thick your brow hairs are, depends on how many layers of glue and powder that you need to do and wait for each layer to completely dry before moving on to the next one. Then I'm gonna use some Prosade and this forehead piece. This is a foam latex prosthetic from Berman's laboratory of this forehead. And I'm just putting some Prose with a disposable makeup sponge around my eyebrows where that forehead piece is going to go and on the forehead piece itself. But don't put it where your eyebrows are going to be, just on the edges. You don't want to put Prose on your eyebrows no matter how much things you have on it to cover it because you could rip your actual hairs out with Prose. So as you can see, this prosthetic reaches the ends of my hair and as you can tell, I'm not gonna put Prosade there. That's why there's some flaps. Then I'm putting on this nose from Berman's Laboratory as well. That looks like a cat. And we're not gonna stop there. This is a four piece prosthetic look. I'm putting on some pointed ears. Yes, they look like cat ears because we're doing the Cave of Wonders cat from Aladdin, the Aladdin cat statue thing. And I'm taking some of the adhesive, like unhinging it from that prosthetic so I could put some fake Fingernails I cut down to fangs, just like from my McDonald's, Ronald McDonald clown video. They're those same type of teeth, but they're gonna be for this cat. The Cave of Wonders cat has this huge jaw with these sharp teeth, so I'm putting those there, and I'm getting some liquid latex with a red stipple sponge to stipple on the edges of the prosthetics once it's dry, because this is gonna blend into our skin texture so that it won't look like I just pasted on foreign objects to my face that they actually belong there and are part of my new cat-like face. And once all that is completely dry, we're gonna start putting on some Prosade to make sure that the paint that we're gonna put on sticks very well, that's why you need this layer. Then we're gonna make sure that layer completely dries before getting more of those fake fingernails that we cut into teeth with some tape, and I'm taping that to my chin. You could use some like gelatin here if you think tape is not safe or good, the adhesive for your skin. Cause some people are very sensitive and don't want to put duct tape on your face. I totally understand. But I'm getting some blue Pax paint with a disposable makeup sponge that I just cut in half and I'm putting a layer of this bright blue Pax paint on those prosthetics of the nose and the forehead and we cannot Absolutely cannot forget our ears. It reminds me of the movie, not the movie, the TV show Gargoyles when I was a kid. I totally look like a gargoyle right now. I'm also gonna get that blue paint to paint the fake teeth, fingernails that we did and glued in our mouth. Then I'm getting some of my Make It Forever Flash palette. I mix some of the blue and white together to make this blue color that hopefully will blend in to the similar colors of the Pax paint on areas that we didn't paint on the face because you can't put Pax paint on your skin. Well, you can, but it's gonna be very hard to take off and very harsh on your skin. It's gonna like tear your skin a little bit. Not apart, but it's gonna, it's not good. That's why we're using cream paint instead. Then I'll get some blue matte eyeshadow with a very large powder puff and start powdering around on that cream paint to blend it all in with the prosthetic paint so that they're all equal in color and texture. Then with some matte black eyeshadow, I'm putting that on my hairline because you don't want to put Pax paint or adhesives on your hair. So this will blend it into the background to my natural hair. Just so that looks more seamless and like will reshape my face a little bit shorter. Now I'm getting some more male Pax paint, but this is in the color Merlot. 
with another disposal makeup sponge and I'm coloring in the shadow marks because the Cave of Wonders cat statue of the cave, mouth of the cave, is blue and purple tones. So we're just doing some contrasting colors where the wrinkles and darker parts of the face are. Really look at reference pictures for this. And I'm painting the inside of his mouth like this bright salmon-y color and mixing it with some gold paint from my Makeup Forever Flash palette. So the inside of his mouth looks like it's glowing from within, just like the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin. Then I'm gonna get some RCMA No Color Powder to set some of the makeup with a very large brush, making sure all that's set. And then now is for the more fun part. We're gonna do some more shadows and lines to make this cat look really realistic. I'm getting some matte black eyeshadow with the angled brush. Again, really look at reference pictures because we're gonna do all the wrinkles and lines in this cat's face of the Cave of Wonders. It's really gonna bring it to life. He has like these sagging wrinkles. He almost looks like a Sharpay mixed with a cat, as weird as that sounds. So we're putting on all these wrinkles and then I'm getting some white matte eyeshadow with a flat brush and putting that on the top high peaks highlights of my face on top of the wrinkles so that it gives it more dimension and stands out more. Once you think you have enough highlights that makes the features of this Cave of Wonders cat-like face stand out, now I'm gonna get some light blue aqua paint. This is by Wolf Brothers and I'm gonna start painting the silhouette of the genie. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. There will never be a genie as hilarious and funny and magical as him. As you can see, I'm also getting some white aqua paint once that blue was dry. Actually, I think this is cream paint layered on top of the aqua paint. And then I'm getting some black aqua paint with a very tiny detail brush to do the eyeball pupils of the genie and the outline of his brows and his face to really give it that cartoon effect. This takes a very steady hand to do all the detail and outlines of the genie because it makes the character, cartoon character, who they are. You have to be very detailed, very precise, because if you do your cartoons not in detail and out of portion, it won't look like the actual character. I feel like cartoons are some of the hardest things to paint, especially on your body, especially with makeup. I feel like they're a lot easier on a flat surface when you're doing a cartoon character on an actual canvas instead of your body because it's three dimensional and as you can see I'm getting that blue aqua paint again just to the outline of the genie's body swaying into motion onto my chest. The genie has a smoke like figure to his body. He's got all the curves in all the right places. He could be as big or as small as he wants. That's why we're doing the smoky like effect of these wavy blue body of the genie and I'm getting that black aqua paint again with the thin brush to do the outline of his hand and we cannot forget his golden cuffs and jewelry with some gold paint. And as you can see on the other side of the chest we did the lamp with the same gold paint as we did on the genie of the Aladdin's magical lamp. I did some sunburnt brown tones of shadow on that lamp as well. Before getting some pink aqua paint. Cat, what's with the pink? I don't understand it. Why are you doing bubblegum pink? Well, folks, we're trying to do the sunset, the colors of Aladdin, which are blues and the colors of the sunset with the beautiful pinks and oranges. We have the orange of the lamp and the pinks. I just felt like it'd be so beautiful to do these colors together. In the reference picture, I'll try to find it and link it down below. That's the colors that were in the reference pictures and I just thought they looked so great together. As you can see, I'm doing some random light blue streaks on top of this blue and pink. Cat, what are you doing? I'm doing some cloud-like motions and streaks, and we're doing white dots and outlining those clouds because we want some magic puffs, some magic to occur. Disney's all about magic, with the genie just poofs into place, so that's why we're doing these white cloud-like formations into the body painting. The genie's where you want it to be precise and detailed. The puffs and the clouds, you could be as like, you know, not as detailed or as, you could be a little messy with that. And we're getting the black aqua paint to do the detail of the genie cartoon even more of his little curly beard, his facial hair, and some more blue aqua paint to do more clouds up in the sky, and some blue eyeshadow. We're doing that to do some shadow and contour on the genie, of course, in certain places where his hand and his neck cast shadows. Again, want it to look realistic even though it's a cartoon. Once you think you have enough texture of the blue shadows and everything on the genie, enough detail on him. I'm gonna go in with some pink and then red cream paint in the inside of his mouth, do the tongue and mouth. 
Then I'm gonna get some white contact lenses. This is totally extra. You don't need this or the prosthetics. You just paint your face as a cat. But I wanna do some creepy white contacts in the Cave of Wonders eyeballs. And with that, we're completely done with this beautiful Cave of Wonders Aladdin tribute with the genie and the lamp. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, are you excited about the new Aladdin movie coming out? Have you seen the trailer? Click down below if you haven't. You should watch it. I really wanna see it, but I'm nervous about it. I don't know about you. Maybe you could do that creepy voice on how the Cave of Wonders does. The diamond in the rough. Or... The diamond in the rough. Thank you, Corey. And with that, now it's time to turn into ourselves. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box, as always. If you guys do makeup like this, it is hard. It took me like four hours. But please do it and post on Instagram and tag me, hashtag catsketch, because I would love to see it. Leave me a comment down below on what you would love to see in another video, even though I have a series coming up. What? Yes. I hope you guys aren't sick of Disney things because we've got great things coming up. But I still want to know what you guys would love to see on this YouTube channel. Thank you to my boyfriend Corey for the voice of the Cave of Wonders. Thank you so much to my best friend Chelsea for helping me with this idea. She's a huge Aladdin fan. Links will be down below to both those people. Subscribe for more videos like this and FX Fridays and I do Makeup Mondays with Beauty Makeups. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!